Welcome to Cape Town, beautiful Cape Town, you saw it on the way in. I have the lovely pleasure of coming to Gallows Hill Driving License Testing Centre. I need to pick up my driver's license, but I don't even know if it's here. Hopefully my license is ready for collection. Sav and I uh, reapplied for our new licenses at the same time, and yet she got an SMS and I didn't get an SMS, so we're going to see. Gallows Hill Driving License Testing Centre. They must have just opened because as I looked when I arrived the queue was down there so I think everyone was queued up outside and now they're all ready to go. I'll probably just be in one of those. That's the paying queue but it might also be the collection queue. Oh boy, actually I'll probably be in that one. There we go. I mean that wasn't too bad. 20 minutes but that was just for the collection. The application process was a whole three hour, three different traffic departments ordeal so yeah. <laughs> But we're done now. License to drive. I mean, I was always licensed to drive. I just didn't have a license from when I got pickpocketed in Paris. So I've just noticed something very interesting uh, because they gave me back my passport like this, right? With the driver's license. And then there was this little page inside and I just thought it was like a receipt for collecting your thing. Organ Donor Foundation. I think that's really clever, actually, because people who go in cars can get in car accidents. Unfortunately, sometimes they're fatal, but your organs can be harvested. I just think it's, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like there's something to be said. I just don't know what it is yet. It's too early in the morning for me. This and motorcycle licenses should definitely be handed out together. Speaking of, I might have a motorcycle license coming on the way. Scooter license, more like it actually. I've just parked old Perla here next to the school. There's the old nipple, lion's nipple. And I'm heading down to, do you guys know where? Are you familiar enough with Seapoint to know that if we park here next to the school, where are we going? I say we, it's just me. That is right. We, me, are going to Jared's. It is noisy out here. There's a lot of construction happening. This block I feel like is definitely new and was not here a year ago. Here it is. Jared's, one of the best breakfast spots in Cape Town. Food has arrived. I went for, I panicked a little bit, panic order. I went for the uh, Marmite and Brie. I haven't had Marmite in so long, but roast tomatoes, uh, rocket, Brie, poached egg, everything. And look who has joined me. Hi. Hey, hey, how's it? Do me a favor if you see a car in South Africa. Black doors, white door handles, those door handles are mine. <laughs> so Mateusz rented a car. This uh, little Hyundai, and uh, last night it got broken into, and they stole nothing except for the two door handles on the left-hand side. There, the picture is. <laughs> they stole just the door handle. Stole the door handle. Welcome to South Africa. Hey! <laughs> but I've never, seriously, I've never heard of anyone stealing door handles before. I don't know. Maybe they were really nice door handles. That's the first thing, thing. Irresistible. I'm just showing the boys around a little bit of Sea Point. We've come down to. Oh no! Why is that closed? I wanted to show them this beautiful view of the nipple and if you go down to the water there's nice views here as well. Um, why is that closed? We're going to try this place out. We've come to, the Seapoint pools are just, uh, oh just here you can see the blue in between the people. I'm just going to get a cheeky ice sight, traditional Italian gelato. Although that sounds like a German, that does sound German right? Ice sight. First, first is English, second yeah. German. Yeah. Eyesight. Yeah, I'll get a nice sealed one. Cook Sisters. Apparently it's deep fried dough and syrup. <laughs> and there's like no nutrients available. You don't know what you're eating basically. Yeah, there's a reason there's no <laughs> nutritional information available because it is just hardcore. But so good. you got to try it. No, no, we will. We good. Will. With the penguins, huh? With the penguins, penguins. yeah. <laughs> I've got them geared up. They're heading to Cape Point today. Um, I've got a bunch of other things that I need to do, so unfortunately I can't join them. But yeah, I didn't explain. Mateusz is actually in Cape Town for a couple days. Just come on a bit of a holiday. Also scouting. He says scouting because he thinks he might uh, want to move here. 
because he stays he stays in a very small town in Germany and he would uh, he would love to move so <laughs> he's just scouting Cape Town seeing what it's like it's pretty good I'll say that what's next on the agenda Matt well I'll tell you guys recycling I've got all these pamphlets here recycling recycling all of this stuff here recycling recycling so I'm gonna take the recycling to the recycling place all the recycling has been sorted out and I've got half an hour to get to the recycling plant we'll call it a recycling plant like that one except that's a delicious monster isn't she a beauty I know I haven't given you guys a flat toy yet but it's coming we still don't have a couch and I want us to have a couch before I do anything that's like this is what we've got because otherwise I can tell you in the video people are gonna be like why don't you have a couch that's just how the internet is not you guys not the people that are watching this one but the other people that are gonna come there's gonna be other people when I post that video that's like new flat to a Cape Town people who don't know me are gonna come through and then they're gonna be like hey where's your couch you don't have a couch how do you not have a couch that's just how people are okay Let's get to the recycling plant. We've wasted enough time, guys. Oh yeah, check this. This is so cool. Train tracks, right? That lead right into the brewery. So the nice thing about the location of our flat is that we're right next to, this is Newlands train station. You can see through there. Can you see there, Newlands, the yellow sign? And then next to that, this is the Newlands brewery. This is SAB, South African breweries. Um, yeah, and they still get some of their materials obviously delivered by train. Um, and it's not every day that you get to see them doing it, which is cool. You always see the train tracks, but you're like, there's no way the train comes here. But yes, it does. The train tracks lead right into the brewery, and uh, you'll always see trucks coming in and out of here. There's the old trucks and a peek inside. But uh, yeah, these big SUV trucks also always out here. But that's cool, eh? I've just dropped off the recycling. I'm at the plant here. You can see all the recycling stuff back there. I just wanted to tell you guys quickly, briefly, about Oasis, this place that does the recycling. Um, I think it's a really good initiative because what it does is not only are they recycling, which is good for the environment, but they're also providing jobs to people with special needs. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's a really good initiative, you know, providing them an income, something to do, and yeah. And I didn't know this until today, but they've actually got a little shop here, so I'm just going to come and check out what they've got. And I'm guessing proceeds, you know, go towards the, the running of this operation. Pro tip, instead of going thrifting in Woodstock, where they have all these expensive things, you want to get yourself a vintage bag that's got this cool vibe, or these old briefcases, I know these have become popular. 150 bucks at like an upmarket vintage store that same thing I bet you would go for 10 times the price no jokes this one 75 rand not bad I picked up something that I didn't need but uh, one of these kettle plugs but I need this plug right but this one is actually an extender so it's got a female and a male part to the plug so it's an extender for this sort of thing powers a computer screen or a computer so I just thought an extender might be useful to have only 10 rand why not and then the minimum card spend was 20 so I got myself a 10 rand just juice if you guys aren't from South Africa or if you are and you haven't had just juice it's quite special look I'm not gonna tout it as the most unique only one of its kind juices that you get but just juice is a South African classic South African favorite and what makes it different is that it's sparkling so it's like any normal juice it's just fizzy which is nice because it makes you feel like you're having a cool drink but you're actually just having a juice I haven't had the strawberry cherry one yet no added preservatives hashtag not sponsored you can just make this yourself by diluting juice with 50% soda water but Not the best one. Apologies for the gap in the vlog. I was just attending not a sports game, which is what it looks like uh, behind me, but uh, the memorial service for one of my neighbors um, who passed away earlier this week. The venue was uh, Western Province Cricket Club, the Bowls Club, um, which is why there's all this sort of sport going on. Um, but, yeah, I really don't know what to say in these sorts of situations, so 
Um, I'm just going to show you look how nice the view silhouette of Devil's Peak looks. Yeah, it's a really nice, nice club. In other news, uh, this weekend, Sav and I are babysitting her nephew, who is approximately one and a bit years old. So, dramatic car light. So as you guys can see, there's strong evidence of a baby around. Those aren't necessarily babies, as otherwise that's a baby with a big foot. Big foot baby. Sav's here. Of course, yeah. Baby's asleep in that room. I'm just watching some footy. Uh, Liverpool versus Southampton. Not going the way I thought it would. Also, currently buffering. The football was not exciting enough for me to stay awake for it. So, um, we are getting to bed. So I'm just watching Caroline Hines. Is he mm. Yeah. This, uh, like, skincare guru. I'm gonna watch some... I don't know, whatever's on my home page when I log into YouTube, if I make it that far. Mm.